Welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. Yes, it's that time again, folks. A little short whistle-stop trip over to get the best information I can get for you guys on the helicopter rig with worms. The expert today is Ben Kennedy from the Tench Fishers. He's going to show us how he specialises in rigging a worm and they're very successful for Tench. Not just that, a lot of other species as well. So let's hear what he has to say. Now this, this final rig is one that I've been using very successfully recently and it was shown to me by fellow tench fisher Di Gribble who has had uh, over 15 double figure tench this season so far um, and including one of over 14 pounds uh, which is truly incredible. Now it's a very simple rig in as much as it's a helicopter rig. I've got two float stops, two beads and then the swivels trap between them so the bait can rotate freely. I'll fucking show you this. It can rotate freely around the main line. Okay. The hook length's short, it's probably three inches maximum, um, and to it, it's again, sorry, it's, it's eight pounds main uh, hook link line, um, size 10 hook, and then I've got hair rigged two worms. Now, the worms, by being on the hair, don't obscure the hook point, which sometimes can happen if you put worms on the hook directly. Also, in this case, I'm using a barbless hook, and if you put a worm on a barbless hook, it can wriggle off, or you have to use a maggot or similar to keep it on. Now, below the hook link, I have a rig ring, which the helicopter rig will slide down and rest against. And then to the other side of the rig ring, I have a short length of line with a clip to my feeder. And in this case, it's a two ounce feeder, um, which gives a bolt effect effectively when um, you're fishing. The fish will pick up the, the hook link and bolt against the weight of the feeder like that. Now, in the feeder, um, I put chopped worms, uh, maybe some maggots, depending on what I've got left and what the fish are really taking but it's easy just to chop some worms up, slide them into the feeder. Alternatively, if on another day um, if necessary, I'd happily feed ground bait as well. I'll show you now how to put the worm onto the hair because it's a little bit different. First of all, you take a, a quick stop needle, push it into a core and quick stop, like so. Then you take the worm and you want to find the saddle of the worm, the thicker part really, because it, it just survives the cast a little bit better than if you put it through the main body. And you just push the quick stop through the worm like so. Then, holding the quick stop, pull the needle out, twist the stop, there you go, the worm's hair rigged. And if you want to be a bit sneaky, you can snip the end off the worm, just to allow a little bit of attraction into the water. Now, worms and tench go together like cheese and biscuits, and I tend to buy my worms in bulk like this, in a kilo or two kilos at a time. They come in a sack, they keep perfectly well in the, in the heat, they're much more durable than say lobworms are, um, and I by buying in bulk you save yourself some money. Now one of the tips, one little tip I can give you is sometimes if you want to change bait but you still want a worm you can buy these. Now these are bright green dendrobinas. if you can see that. They've been given a food supplement which actually turns them green. Not permanently, it soon will pass through them but they, they look green. Um, and for attention maybe when they're starting to get a little bit finicky and you want to give a slight change, try one of these. Well, have you ever heard of anything like that before? A green worm? Well, hang on a minute. Although Ben uses those green worms, I've got to think about something because recently I've been using a ground bait. It's from Weird Stuff and it's green. It's called Green Betaine. I have no idea what's in it. We're not sponsored by it. I'm just telling you, I've used it the last maybe three or four times and with Mike and we've caught fish. Maybe there's something in that green after all. Give it a go, try the helicopter rig, try that way of hair rigging the worms and see if you can improve your fish catches. See you next time on Totally Awesome Fishing Tips.